We are back in Tokyo, Japan, featherweight division. Ilias Banis fighting out of Morocco, making his glory debut, facing off against Taiju Shiratori. Here's our tale of the tape. Banis has 40 professional bouts. Shiratori not too far behind. He has 35. Both men in their mid-20s. Shiratori will have a one-inch height advantage. With professional experience, the edge going to Benis, 40 fights to 34 of Shiratori. Both gentlemen with similar knockout percentages and both making their glory debut tonight. First, in the blue corner, standing 167 centimeters, weighing 62.45 kilograms, representing Maraca, ISKA Europe, runway champion. Standing 180 centimeters, weighing 64.95 kilograms, representing Japan, former rise right weight champion, Taiji. Maso Akira. Three, three round, three no round. No elbow, no batting, no rodeo. Okay, let's have to look. Hey, come on. Well, Joe, what's your gut tell you we're going to see here? Well, I think it's going to be uh, Shiratori trying to manage distance, use his length. And where Banis is going to want to come in and try to bang it out. You can see already the height difference. They're both the same weight somehow, but it's obvious. Wow, it's obvious what advantages Shiratori is going to have. But you would think Banis is very much used He uses his jab well to set up what a southpaw does. With Banis being the shorter fighter, he's got to really feint his way in. That's why he's kind of moving his head, getting offline, because he knows Shiratori's got that left hand and that left kick waiting for him. Banis started out in Taekwondo, but switched to kickboxing because he said, I couldn't kick people hard enough. They wouldn't let me. So I switched to kickboxing, full contact. And it's turned out pretty good for him. 40 professional fights, 32 wins. Yep, Taekwondo was the, the base that I had. And it was a great start for kickboxing because, you know, it helps you get those head kicks going, lets you be a little bit more dynamic with your legs, learning those kicks from an early age. Oh, big right hand connects there for Shiatori. Yep, Shiratori just pawing that jab out, waiting to time that left hand or the left kick. Banis really firing back as well. Japan 0-2 so far 
on our main card. You know they like to turn it around here with the Prince. And he's doing as best he can to get inside. Definitely a slow start in this fight compared to the other two. You can see the pace a little bit slower here compared to the other fights. You know, it's tough to get in against a tall fighter like Shiratori, so Benice needs to be careful, watch his entries. Take it to the body there, Shiratori. Shiratori just picking his shots. You can see him just touching, flying, and then once he finds the openings, he adds a little emphasis to the punches. Let's look at some of the, the profiles here. Benice, born and raised in the Netherlands, representing Morocco. Known for that left kick, but it's very difficult against you know, a southpaw. But he's taking on Shiratori, who's nicknamed the Prince, former Rise champion. You can just see from his tall frame, the technician that he is, the way he sets things up. Early martial artist in Kyokushin, transitioned to kickboxing, then did some boxing, had 11 pro fights. And, back to kickboxing in 2015, so very well experienced this year, Tori. So a good opening round for Japan's Shiratori. Let's see if Ilias Benis can figure a way to get inside. Yeah, but it's that pawing jab from Shiratori that makes it very difficult for Benis to come in. He just keeps touching it, touching it, and then tries to set up big bombs like that. That hurts. And when you make sounds like that, I mean, it's a lot of these front kicks, yeah, just went underneath that belt line. Joe, what's the best way to shake one of these off? Well, in my old school Taekwondo days, it was bouncing on the heels. That's what they kind of said. So kind of keep jumping and bouncing on the heels seems to work. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, there you go. But usually two reactions happen when a fighter gets a low blow, either they kind of get discouraged and their energy goes down, or some fighters get a little bit of spark and tend to get more aggressive. So let's see the type of fighter Benice is. He's just so much smaller in there. And Shiratori looks like he's not even trying. Look at those numbers, uh, perhaps. It looks like Shiratori sparring tonight. Yeah, it's, it's surprising that Oh, another low blow, he's complaining. <laughs> Telling him to keep fighting. Benice is not happy. Let's see if he can use that energy. He just walked into that flurry, and look at Chiratori now. Yep, Shiratori's found that sniper. Now he's gonna find that left hand and try to set things up with it. You see Benice trying to switch stances. He needs to find a way inside. He can't just sit at the end of Shiratori's strikes. He's gotta get in. Nothing seems to be... Sure, Tori's just one of these annoying fighters that just keeps touching you. All right, put a little bit extra on that last left hand. But 
Being a tall fighter and being this relaxed, it's impressive. He's just got to find that little bit of a pop now. I feel like he's good in phase one. He needs to kind of pick it up and shift gears a little bit. Oh, a right lands for Benice. That's what Benice needs to do. He needs to throw in combination. Fighting, a, being the shorter fighter, one shot isn't enough. He's got to keep coming forward, put your strikes in combinations. I would say punch to kick is the best way to close distance. You can see good counters from Shiratori. Being that long fighter, he has so much space to read and pick shots like that. I mean, just, Benice is just, these rounds just sitting too comfortably at the end of the strikes. That's why you see Shiratori find that jab, find the left hand, find the kicks on the outside. But when Benice comes and pressures with his boxing, that seems to be his only chance. He's got to get aggressive here. So here we go, third round. But he certainly lost the second round, most likely lost the first one. Yeah, if I'm Benice, he needs to come forward, combinations. Surprisingly, Benice has actually landed more, more total he's just strikes. just not doing damage with the kicks. They seem to be outside. You can see good distance control now from Shiratori. He punches, pull counters, comes back. He's fighting so smooth and relaxed is Shiratori. Benice, on the other hand, fighting with some urgency, some desperation, perhaps. Rivals 5 headed your way January 28th live to from Tulum, inside, and that's Mexico. That's the biggest problem. there from Banis. Shiratori doesn't seem too bothered by it. There's another high kick. Oh, big overhand left. Big punch there for Banis. He needed something like that. Minute to go here in a fight it appears Shiratori is doing very well in. But he might want to step on the gas pedal here. The stats are very close. Benice has actually landed 14 more strikes. Very surprising. It just doesn't feel that yeah, way. But it's that, yeah, it's that range control of, of Shiratori. I mean, he just sits so long, paws things out. When Benice comes, he kind of throws the one, but it's maybe closer than we think. Good body kick for Shiratori. Can't shell up now. This looks the bad level. to the judges. Shiratori trying to close this round in style. Yeah, bringing a little bit more aggression here to end the fight. Well, Shiratori's not even sweating. How is that possible? How is that possible, Joe? <laughs> I from round one, it looked like a sparring match for him. I mean, he uses his range so well that he can stay so chilled and relaxed on the outside. Doesn't seem overly content with his performance.
ジャッジ永瀬三十対二十八赤白鳥ジャッジワン、三十トリ白鳥ジャッジ北尻三十対二十七赤白鳥ジャッジツー、三十トリセブン白鳥ジャッジ小川三十対二十七赤白鳥ジャッジ3、30-27 白鳥以上3対0の判定をもちまして勝者白鳥大樹ウェル・大樹白鳥 No surprise there, Joe As 大樹・白鳥 wins by unanimous decision It wasn't that close